Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 2 of our turtle graphics uh, exercise. In the previous video we created our classes and we created our uh, static messages class uh, with our error messages set up there. So we'll continue making our classes and the next one, eh, let's make our board, game board. So the class will be public and uh, I'm going to create some uh, constants, uh, integer, I'll call it game board size, and we will have our default game board will be 20 by 20. So that's the default size. We will do public constant character used space. This is gonna be the space that is being drawn, uh, like when we when we when the turtle moves and the pen is down, uh, the drawing happens, and that's gonna be the character that represents the drawing. So um, I'm gonna assign it a character. Uh, let's say zero. Or oh, let's say make O capital O. Yeah, why not? And we will we'll do our constant character game board symbol and that's basically the symbol of the empty uh, not drawn uh, space on the board so basically this is at the, in, at the beginning this is the symbol that will be 20 by 20 on the game board and as we walk through it and drawing through it, it these uh, dots will be replaced by O's alright so let's do our constructor game board and we will initialize our uh, game uh, actually you know what we will need uh, we will need a property I'll make it a property public and it's gonna be static because we will need to access it from uh, uh, other classes this is and it's gonna remain its state in other words we will we will just keep drawing into it uh, this is gonna be the array that will represent our move so it's gonna be a 2d array I'll call it game board array and um, we will into this array we will be placing our our moves so get oh come on oh it's a character I forgot so to the and let's just do get and set so it will have the coordinates for the game board and so let me do the let's just comment it as array we will be updating with our moves alright so uh, yeah this one's important because this is basically what we will be drawing so in our constructor I will initialize the array to new character array and um, I will initialize it to 20 but instead since we have it as a constant I'm gonna use the game board size for both uh, for both sizes so it's gonna be 20 by 20 board and um, at the beginning when we create a, when we start our game we want to display the uh, our board uh, you know the empty board with the with the dots 20 by 20 so I'm gonna create a public void and I call it initialize game board and it's gonna be a for loop uh, it's actually gonna be nested for loop because since this is a 2d array uh, it's less than the game board size and I plus plus 
and the inner loop for var c equals zero c is less than game board size and c plus plus and in it we will put the dots into our game board array so our game board array will start with the 20 by 20 dots characters so game board array i and c equals the game board symbol which is the dot so uh, we have the inner and in our constructor we will initialize the uh, or we will call the call the method automatically so when we instantiate our game board this method will be run uh, automatically when the you know, object is being created so initialize game board there you go so let's initialize now we can have a, a draw board as well so this is because this is not drawing it on the screen this is just populating our array so let's do our other method and I will do uh, draw the board from game board array but we will also need but this is probably to do because I don't have the turtle uh, in the class yet we will need to display our turtle in its uh, x y coordinates on the screen so when I create a turtle uh, this is something I will have to uh, come back to but for now let's just do void draw game board and it will since we are passing the turtle in it uh, the x and y we will need the position x position y and we will also need it's gonna be an integer position y we will also need the character that represents the turtle but that will be in our turtle class uh, like just like we did the characters that represent our spaces that we draw and the spaces that are empty we will also have a character probably an x representing our turtle which is gonna be passed into this uh, into this uh, method so um, so this is to do because uh, we still need the first we need to get the turtle class working but there's gonna be one more um, and that's gonna be to update array this is gonna be after our turtle moves we will uh, pass the move into our uh, into our game board array so we can display an updated uh, updated game board so this is gonna be public and um, I'm pretty sure this one will have to be static in order for it to work you know what let me just do to do because I'm not really sure that we will be probably passing some uh, some coordinates as well and um, all right so um, this is enough for the game board for now uh, because uh, obviously first in order for this to make uh, for making this work we need to uh, create a turtle and more, maybe even our pen classes uh, so we can actually see anything on our uh, game board in the first place so but it's in the next video so stick around and i will see you in the next video take care